Well, this has been a common sight this year. Tornadoes in southern Wisconsin. This week, the National Weather Service is giving us an update on our state's 2024 tornado count. 27 Storm Track meteorologist Alexis Clemens is breaking down the numbers so far and what we should look out for in the coming months. As of Tuesday morning, the National Weather Service confirmed that 39 tornadoes have touched down in Wisconsin so far this year. That's 10 EF0, 26 EF1, and 3 EF2 tornadoes. Only seven days have produced our 39 tornadoes in our state this year, the fourth largest yearly tornado total in Wisconsin. The year's only halfway done, too. Notice, though, that the record is 62 tornadoes from 2005. We're going to circle back to that in just a moment. This year, 16 of the 39 tornadoes so far have occurred in our neck of the woods, which is just a little less than half of them. Southern Wisconsin holds all three of the the EF2 tornadoes. Just some statistics for you. Rock and Walworth County counties are tied at the highest four tornado touchdowns this year. Now, an interesting tidbit that I'm seeing is that this year's spring and summer look very similar to the spring and summer of 2005. If you recall, that year holds the record for most tornadoes in Wisconsin at 62 touchdowns, just like we mentioned. August 18th, 2005, you might remember, brought one F3 and two F2 tornadoes to southern Wisconsin, which also tells us not to let our guard down. Severe season isn't over yet. However, something else I'm noticing is the similarities to our hurricane season so far. We've been talking a lot about Hurricane Barrow that's broken records for the earliest category four and five hurricane ever in the Atlantic. What year held the previous records? That was 2005, which was also the year of Hurricane Katrina. I think the big factor here is that at the bottom of your screen, you see both 2005 and 2024 were years where we were transitioning from El Nino to La Nina during the late spring and early summer months. Now, this is just something that I'm noticing, but if these similarities continue, I'd prepare for a very active hurricane season and I'd still monitor severe threats in Wisconsin for at least the next few months. Stick with 27 News for updates. We've got you covered. For 27 Storm Track Weather, I'm meteorologist Alexis Clemens.